Article 14. Education, Science, and Technology, Arts, Culture, and Sports. Education. Section 1. The state shall protect and promote, the right of all citizens, to quality education at all levels, and shall take appropriate steps, to make such education accessible to all. Section 2. The state shall. 1. Establish, maintain, and support, a complete, adequate, and integrated system of education, relevant to the needs of the people and society. 2. Establish and maintain a system of free public education, in the elementary and high school levels. Without limiting the natural right of parents, to rear their children, elementary education is compulsory, for all children of school age. 3. Establish and maintain a system of scholarship grants, student loan programs, subsidies, and other incentives, which shall be available to deserving students, in both public and private schools, especially to the underprivileged. 4. Encourage non-formal, informal, and indigenous learning systems, as well as self-learning, independent, and out-of-school study programs, particularly those that respond to community needs, and 5. Provide adult citizens, the disabled, and out-of-school youth, with training in civics, vocational efficiency, and other skills. Section 3. 1. All educational institutions, shall include the study of the Constitution, as part of the curricula. 2. They shall inculcate patriotism and nationalism, foster love of humanity, respect for human rights, appreciation of the role of national heroes, in the historical development of the country, teach the rights and duties of citizenship, strengthen ethical and spiritual values, develop moral character and personal discipline, encourage critical and creative thinking, broaden scientific and technological knowledge, and promote vocational efficiency. 3. At the option expressed in writing, by the parents or guardians, religion, shall be allowed to be taught to their children or wards, in public elementary and high schools, within the regular class hours, by instructors designated or approved by the religious authorities, of the religion to which the children or wards belong, without additional cost to the government. Section 4. 1. The state recognizes the complementary roles, of public and private institutions in the educational system, and shall exercise reasonable supervision and regulation, of all educational institutions. 2. Educational institutions, other than those established by religious groups and mission boards, shall be owned solely by citizens of the Philippines, or corporations or associations, at least 60% of the capital of which, is owned by such citizens. The Congress may, however, require increased Filipino equity participation, in all educational institutions. The control and administration of educational institutions, shall be vested in citizens of the Philippines. No educational institution shall be established, exclusively for aliens, and no group of aliens, shall comprise more than one-third of the enrollment in any school. The provisions of this subsection, shall not apply to schools established for foreign diplomatic personnel, and their dependents, and, unless otherwise provided by law, for other foreign temporary residents. 3. All revenues and assets of non-stock, non-profit educational institutions, used actually, directly, and exclusively, for educational purposes, shall be exempt from taxes and duties. Upon the dissolution or cessation, of the corporate existence of such institutions, their assets shall be disposed of, in the manner provided by law. Proprietary educational institutions, including those cooperatively owned, may likewise be entitled to such exemptions, subject to the limitations provided by law, including restrictions on dividends, and provisions for reinvestment. 4. Subject to conditions prescribed by law, all grants, endowments, donations, or contributions, used actually, directly, and exclusively, for educational purposes, shall be exempt from tax. Section 5. 1. The state shall take into account, regional and sectoral needs and conditions, and shall encourage local planning, in the development of educational policies and programs. 2. Academic freedom shall be enjoyed, in all institutions of higher learning. 3. Every citizen has a right to select a profession, or course of study, subject to fair, reasonable, and equitable admission, and academic requirements. 4. The state shall enhance the right of teachers to professional advancement. Non-teaching academic and non-academic personnel, shall enjoy the protection of the state. 5. The state shall assign the highest budgetary priority to education, and ensure that teaching will attract, and retain its rightful share, of the best available talents, through adequate remuneration, and other means of job satisfaction and fulfillment. Language. Section 6. 
the national language of the Philippines is Filipino. As it evolves, it shall be further developed and enriched, on the basis of existing Philippine, and other languages. Subject to provisions of law, and as the Congress may deem appropriate, the government shall take steps, to initiate and sustain the use of Filipino, as a medium of official communication, and as language of instruction in the educational system. Section 7. For purposes of communication and instruction, the official languages of the Philippines, are Filipino, and, until otherwise provided by law, English. The regional languages, are the auxiliary official languages in the regions, and shall serve as auxiliary media of instruction therein. Spanish and Arabic, shall be promoted, on a voluntary and optional basis. Section 8. This constitution shall be promulgated, in Filipino and English, and shall be translated into major regional languages, Arabic, and Spanish. Section 9. The Congress shall establish a National Language Commission, composed of representatives of various regions and disciplines, which shall undertake, coordinate, and promote researches for the development, propagation, and preservation, of Filipino and other languages. Science and Technology Section 10. Science and Technology, are essential for national development and progress. The state shall give priority, to research and development, invention, innovation, and their utilization, and to science and technology education, training, and services. It shall support indigenous, appropriate, and self-reliant scientific and technological capabilities, and their application, to the country's productive systems and national life. Section 11. The Congress may provide for incentives, including tax deductions, to encourage private participation in programs, of basic and applied scientific research. Scholarships, grants in aid, or other forms of incentives, shall be provided to deserving science students, researchers, scientists, inventors, technologists, and specially gifted citizens. Section 12. The state shall regulate the transfer, and promote the adaptation of technology from all sources, for the national benefit. It shall encourage the widest participation of private groups, local governments, and community-based organizations, in the generation and utilization, of science and technology. Section 13. The state shall protect and secure, the exclusive rights of scientists, inventors, artists, and other gifted citizens, to their intellectual property and creations, particularly when beneficial to the people, for such period as may be provided by law. Arts and Culture. Section 14. The state shall foster the preservation, enrichment, and dynamic evolution, of a Filipino national culture, based on the principle of unity and diversity, in a climate of free artistic, and intellectual expression. Section 15. Arts and letters shall enjoy the patronage of the state. The state shall conserve, promote, and popularize, the nation's historical and cultural heritage and resources, as well as artistic creations. Section 16. All the country's artistic and historic wealth, constitutes the cultural treasure of the nation, and shall be under the protection of the state, which may regulate its disposition. Section 17. The state shall recognize, respect, and protect, the rights of indigenous cultural communities, to preserve and develop their cultures, traditions, and institutions. It shall consider these rights, in the formulation of national plans and policies. Section 18. 1. The state shall ensure equal access to cultural opportunities, through the educational system, public or private cultural entities, scholarships, grants and other incentives, and community cultural centers, and other public venues. 2. The state shall encourage and support, researches and studies on the arts and culture. Sports. Section 19. 1. The state shall promote physical education, and encourage sports programs, league competitions, and amateur sports, including training for international competitions, to foster self-discipline, teamwork, and excellence, for the development of a healthy and alert citizenry. 2. All educational institutions, shall undertake regular sports activities throughout the country, in cooperation with athletic clubs and other sectors.